fillet command rounds edges and the chamfer command cuts edges. You find the commands here, fillet command, click the little down arrow to get the chamfer command. The chamfer command rounds off edges by cutting them back and adding an arc. Let's see how that works. So down here on the command prompt, it says specify first object. So I'm going to pick this line here. This is part of a polyline. And then it asks for a second object. And what's pretty nice about NanoCAD, it then previews what's going on. So I move my cursor over this segment of the polyline and you can see the arc is being previewed in green. I move it over to this polyline and there is no preview because those two segments don't intersect. Choose the other one and then the fillet is placed. Later in this tutorial I'll show you how to adjust the parameters. Chamfer command is similar but it puts an angled line at the intersection so once again down in the command prompt it says specify first object so I'll choose that one and then second object and again you get previews of uh, what's going to happen. So I'll click here and the angled line is placed. Fillets and chamfers also work with curves like uh, circles so I'm going to select this line again and then when I move the cursor over the circle you can see that there's four possibilities for the fillet. So I'll select the circle and then once I've selected it NanoCAD prompts me to choose which of the four I'd prefer to use. So I'll click here and the fillet is added. The chamfer is exactly the same way. I'll select this line segment and when I select the circle then there's four possible chamfers. When I select over on this side it doesn't look like it should be a chamfer there but uh, once I select the corner the chamfer is in fact constructed based on NanoCAD extending this line out. Both the fillet and chamfer commands come with the properties dialog box that lets you set a surprising number of parameters. When the command's begun, choose the property option. Here's the dialog box for chamfer and I'll quickly run over what they mean. This option does symmetric chamfers so that uh, each leg is the same distance from the intersection. This one does unequal lengths and the last one does a length and a corner which means an angle. When you choose it, you see here the length is 10 units, the corner is 45. Scissoring is another word for trimming. The uh, normal option here is to do a full trim, which is to cut back from the intersection to where the chamfer begins. This is a partial one. The pieces are not cut at all. Click OK and then choose the two legs. Fill command is similar. It also has a properties option, uh, slightly different versions of these options. The fillet is constructed with an arc. Here it's constructed with a circle and constructed with a large arc. Full trimming, partial trimming and no trimming. So let me switch it to full trimming and then click OK to execute the command. So here is the first leg and the second one and then it's trimmed back. Polylines have a special property when it comes to fillets because all of their vertices can be filleted at once. To do so, in the fillet command, choose the polyline option and then choose the polyline and instantly all corners are filleted. The same function does not exist with the chamfer command.